In this video, we will talk about the first of the Illustrator tools, which is called the Selection tool. And it, it, is, it is this guy right here, this black arrow tool. And it has, a, it has a very handy shortcut of the letter V. So whenever you have any other tool active, just press the letter V to initialize the Selection tool. And the Selection tool, well, says what its name suggests. It selects objects and uh, it cannot uh, select individual anchor points nor path segments. It will select the whole objects all or uh, the whole groups. So like in, in this case, if I just uh, click maybe on this sun right here, you can see that I'm selecting the whole, and the whole path. And even, let me just zoom in real close. And even if I try to click on this anchor point and select only this anchor point, I am selecting the whole, the whole path right here. Here. But uh, the, the selection tool would be kind of a limited tool, don't you think, if it was just for doing that. Let me just maybe quickly group all these guys. With the, um, with the selection tool, you can also transform objects. And in order to do that, we need to have the bounding box uh, well active. And in order to, um, well, to be sure that we have the bounding box uh, active, we need to go to the view menu and find this hide or show bounding box option right here, which is a toggle. If I just click on it, um, I'm going to hide the bounding box. And if I go to the view menu again and click show bounding box, I got the bounding box active uh, right here. So if I just uh, right now press any of these control points right here, you, by the way, you can see that when I hover over uh, any of these points, uh, well, my cursor changes. And if I now just click on it and uh, if I click and drag, I am going to be able to manipulate my object just like so. And if I want to resize it just like that, well, I can do it if I want to. If I want to distort it even like that, I can do that, but I don't want to do that. And so in order to proportionately manipulate, well, to resize uh, proportionately any object, I'm going to simply click on this uh, control point and, I, and I'm going to press and hold down the shift key just like so. So you can see that I'm proportionately resizing my, resizing my well, a picture frame or, or a picture uh, in this case. And if I want to transform my object proportionately and I want to do it starting from its center point, I'm simply going to click, well, click and drag by this, by this control point. I'm going to press and hold on the shift key and I'm going to press and hold on the alt keys, well, the alt key, just like so. And of course, if you're on a Mac, you'd press and hold down the, the option key. So I'm pressing both the shift and the alt keys just like so to transform, to resize my uh, my well picture frame uh, from its center point and of course if i want to rotate uh, my uh, my object uh, if i just uh, hover near the, any uh, of these uh, well these four uh, these corners right here i am simply going to click and drag right now and i can rotate it just like so uh, however there's one little uh, when one little trick that you can that you can do when you are working with the selection tool, and you can you can initialize the move tool very quickly uh, with this uh, with the selection tool. And all we need to do is we simply need to double click on the selection tool to invoke the move tool right here. So I just double clicked and on this black arrow right here. And if I want to, I can move it both horizontally, just like so. And by the way, I am pressing the and the up arrow key while holding down the shift key to change, uh, well, to change um, the distance by 10 pixel increments, just like so. And of course, I can move it vertically as well, just like that. And if I want to, I can change the angle value or the distance value if I want to. But what is great about this tool uh, is that uh, if I want to move my object, uh, let's say by maybe 50 pixels vertically, just like so, I can also simply hit the copy right here instead of OK to simply create a copy of my of my object and to move it by well in this case 50 pixels at the same time so again if you want to simply initialize the move tool just select your object and double click on the black arrow key to initialize the move tool just like so where you can move your move your object horizontally vertically and you can copy it at the same time so there you go. This is how you can use the, uh, the, selection, uh, the selection tool. So remember that it has a very handy shortcut of the letter V on your keyboard. So if, uh, if you have any other tool active and you want to uh, quickly move to the selection tool, just press the V key on your keyboard. And if you have the bounding box uh, visible, you can transform your image. You can resize it or rotate it just like so. And if you double click, 
uh, if you double click uh, on uh, on this uh, black arrow icon right here you will invoke uh, the move tool and you can move your uh, move your and copy your uh, object uh, just like that so in the next view we will talk about uh, the uh, the other or the second uh, selection tool inside our tool set right here which is called that direct selection tool before you move on to the next video, be sure to get your copy of the free ebook on Android app icon design that is waiting for you on my website davidtuminski.com and you'll find the link in the description of this video. Also, please subscribe to the channel and it would be great if you advised me on how to make these videos better for you and you can do that in the comment section to this video. So as always, have a nice design.